Mary Pickford. Casse de la DeLorean, la deuxième DeLorean, qui provient du dock alternatif. Il faut quand même avouer une chose, c'est que le temps qui a été altéré au point de faire disparaître Il Valley, c'est quand même quelque chose d'assez impressionnant. Enfin. Donc, les peurs de la DeLorean. Doc, it's a... Bon, alors c'est particulièrement chiant parce que au départ, quoi que je fasse, Mary Pickford. En dehors de ça. Euh, il me semble, par exemple, si je fais ça. Look. Voilà, à chaque fois, euh, Doc, il veut qu'on ferme sa gueule, quoi. Donc, on va faire bouger les choses parce que sinon, on pourra pas avancer. Step away from the cabin! <gasps> Pardon us for intruding, madam. We were wondering if you could tell us. I don't talk to hooligans! I'm a very friendly sort. That, that was Edna. Edna Strickland? Impossible. This is how she was when I first met her. I had to. Listen, just leave it to me. Okay, you think you know how to handle her. Just remember, we need to know what happened to Hill Valley, and just as importantly, the precise time when it happened. I hate to see it like this. Uh, Mary Pickford. Now, where would she pick up a fake name like that? C'est clair. On va la trouver quand même un pseudonyme, même si c'est pourri. <rire> euh... I'm guessing this map doesn't get much use. Ça pourra servir plus tard. <rire> yeah, I can wait. Edna's grandfather, Marshall Strickland. That's the same picture I saw in Edna's apartment, way back, in the future. Mm, le Marshall Strickland, Stri Strickland, putain, je bug. Euh, C'est aussi un personnage qu'on rencontre dans le troisième film. Hey, Miss Strick, who are you? Sonny Crockett. Sonny Crockett. That's a foolish name. And I make it a rule not to talk to strangers with foolish names. But we're not strangers. How do I know you? Mm. Vous avez essayé de me faire arrêter. You tried to have me arrested once, a long time ago. Remember? Listen, Sonny. I'm an easygoing woman, but I got a few rules I live by. And rule number one is... I never, ever talk about the past! Or the future, neither. I don't talk about any day but today. I guess that didn't go so well. Of course she doesn't talk about the past. Because there's something in her past she's trying to forget. But we're gonna pry it out of her. Go ahead, knock on the door again. Mm. I'm sure I can get her to talk to me. Then what are you waiting for? Knock on the door. Non, c'est après qu'il euh, qu y, y a des dialogues supplémentaires avec Doc. What? It's me again, your old friend. How do I know you? Vous m'avez interviewé. You interviewed me once, back when you were young. How many times I gotta tell ya, I don't talk about any time but today! 
Je vous ai sauvé la vie. I saved your life once, a long time ago, remember? Kitan and had you tied up. How many times I gotta tell you, I don't talk about any time but today! Quelle chieuse. On a passé la journée ensemble. We spent the day together. We did? Where? At the expo. That's crazy. I've been here all... What day is it? Tuesday, October 13th, 1931. October 13th. 1931. October 13th. Something funny about that date. Well, what are you here for? Je sais qui vous êtes. Come on, Miss Strickland. Miss who? Strickland. You're Edna Strickland. Take a look at the mailbox, Sonny. Name's Pickford. Mary Pickford. And it has been for as long as I care to remember. And like I told you, I don't care to remember! Où est passé Hill Valley? Listen, lady, you've got to tell us where Hill Valley went. Hill Valley? You're standing in Hill Valley. Population one. Hill Valley a été là. But there used to be a regular town here, right? Might be there was a town once long ago, or might be it was in the future. How many times I gotta tell ya, I don't talk about any time but today! Vous avez volé cette DeLorean. You see that car over there? You stole that from, from Carl Sagan, and you, you time jumped into the past. Me? Steal a car? You got a lot of nerve, Sonny. Everyone in town knows that Mary Pickford's the most law-abiding citizen that Hill Valley's ever had. Then I don't give a fig about the past. Je vous ai amené quelque chose. I brought something for you. What is it? Let me see. I brought you this. I ain't interested in flowers. Wait till you hear. And I especially ain't interested in talking flowers. Put them away! I brought you these tickets to the expo. What expo? The expo you left when you swiped the DeLorean and jumped back in time. Stop messing with my brain! I don't know nothing about time travel and I never did. And what's more... I never talk about the past! I brought you this picture. Who is that? You don't know him, but he looks a lot like this guy you did know. Not interested. We must have brought something Edna wants. Don't look at me. I didn't bring anything but myself. In fact, you have Cliquez sur Doc. I brought you him. Him. Who oh, him? Him who? Hmm. Carl Sagan. Sure, you remember him, Carl Sagan, uh, the guy you framed as a speakeasy arsonist. Speakeasy? A arson? That's complete gibberish, Sonny. Whatever you're talking about's got nothing to do with me. I never involve myself in such criminal shenanigans. Still, his features remind me of someone. C'est Doc. This is Doc Brown, the guy who built the car you stole. Stole? I never steal. I'm a law-abiding citizen. Still, there is something familiar about those features. Sure, I don't know you from somewhere. Évidemment, finalement, il faut dire c'est Emmett Brown. Look hard. Don't tell me you don't recognize your own boyfriend. My boyfriend? Yeah, he's um, he's all grown up. Come closer, fella. Marty, what am I supposed to do? Trust me, Doc. Just go with it. It can't be, Emmett. Yes, Edna. It's me. It is. It's October 13th, 1931. Oh, and you are Emmett. 
much. Oh, Emmett, oh, how did I get so turned around? Have I been dreaming or well, stay there? It's a classic case of oppressed memory syndrome. Once the mental dam is broken, the subject is immediately plunged into the midst of the very scenes she's trying to forget. Darling, you've come back. Of course I knew you would. An intelligent boy like you wouldn't be one to throw away true love all because of a silly quarrel. I've already forgotten about last night's little tiff. I trust you've done the same? Of course I have. Of course I have. What? Uh, uh, uh. Get out. Schnookums. Uh, uh, Schnookums. <laughs> you're sweet. But you're still keeping company with this Smirnoff character. I insist you drop him. He's a bad influence. And you've got to stop working on that dangerous electrokinetic... What's this? Um... Okay. I suppose now you're miffed with me for forcing Detective Parker to close your booth down. Bitter medicine for you, I know, but I had to do it. And Parker had no choice but to obey my orders. He knows that my opinion carries a lot of weight in Hill Valley, and he'd never... Parker would never... Oh! What is it? I don't know. Something about Detective Parker. Something that happened to me on October 13th. What could it be? Can you jog her memory? If we can keep her mind in the past, we may get the full story of Hill Valley's premature destruction. Je vous remercie d'avoir regardé cette vidéo et à bientôt pour la suite du walkthrough de Retour vers le futur.